Hey, what's going on guys? It's Delvidge and today I have a font video for you guys. These are some of the fonts that I use and I think look the best with YouTube thumbnails, YouTube banners, and for general purpose. So let's get straight into the video. Before we begin the video, I'd like to mention that every font that I'm about to list will be in the description below, so make sure to check that if any of the fonts that I mentioned in this video interest you. There will be a 100% free download link in the description below, so check that out. The first font we're going to be taking a look at is called Big Noodle Titling, and this is the font that Overwatch uses, which is a very popular first person shooter by Blizzard. This is the font that they use in their game, which is why it's become so popular in the YouTube community because the game itself is quite popular. I like to use it for big subheadings or just regular main text in banners and stuff like that or in thumbnails. I'll show you a few examples of what I'm talking about on screen right now. But yeah, that's the very first font, guys. Big noodle titling. I would definitely recommend that you get it. The second font we're going to be looking at is called Bank Gothic, and this is one of my favorite all-time fonts for things like subheadings. Say you have the main text on a banner, well, if you want to add some social links to that banner, this is the font that you go for. It's so clean and it's so crisp. I love the way it looks, how it flows all together. Bank Gothic, guys, pick it up. The third font we're going to be looking at is a font called Longshot, and this is the font that FaZe Clan and the Red Reserve used to use on their thumbnails about a year and a half ago. It's still a very good looking font and it catches people's attention very clearly when they see in a thumbnail which is what it's normally used for. Although however you can use it for other graphic design purposes. It's best suited for thumbnails in my opinion and it's what has worked best for other people. But again, long shot, really cool, tech looking, futuristic, jagged edges, really sick. Again, I definitely recommend that you pick this font up. Now moving on to our fourth font is called Nexa Bold or just Nexa in general. And this is one of my favorite fonts for general purpose titling, uh, heading, stuff like that. This is the type of font that I would use to add main text to a banner or to a thumbnail. It's really clean, very easy to read. I think it's probably the easiest to read out of all the fonts on this list. So if you're trying to type in your channel name, this is definitely the type of font that I would use. Again, very clean, very easy to read, and it looks very nice. Moving on to our final font is going to be called Raj Jahani, and this is one that my friend Sino uh, Red Sino, I think currently he's in red. I haven't spoken to him in a while But he showed me this font over a Skype call about a year ago year and a half ago and man I have fallen in love with it ever since again just like bank gothic It's a really good font to use in subheadings. It's good to switch it up with this font I like to use it a lot in thumbnails as well because it's a good subheading font like I mentioned before uh, Just a little bit of additional information. This is the type of font you want to be using like I mentioned at the start of the video, all of these fonts are going to be available for you to download in the description below if you find any of these fonts interesting. Good luck designing, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And until next time guys, I will catch you later, peace out.